Hello and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes. Alright, we have just dealt with Ocelot, the uh, rather interesting swordsman. Uh, those are always oh, goodies, isn't it? Oh, shit! Hold on, we can hide. They won't know we're in here. Clear. I completely forgot about the laser wires. Move. You know what they say, start as you mean to go on? And uh, getting caught Clear. is uh, how I mean to Move. go on. This is always quite cool. Clear. Move. Oh, the Metal Gear Solid theme is so good. How good is that theme, though? They don't use that anymore, do they? I think there's some issues with copyright, but uh, it's an incredibly cool theme, and I love it so much. Uh, let's use the thermal, so we should be able to see the... Can I crawl under them? I think we can. There we go. They're still a little, obviously a little bit wary about us, so uh, let's try not to get caught. We need to get out of this area, which is full of, uh, what was it, harmonics? Strong harmonics area. Oops. Beep. Yeah, that was me, sorry. No. Shit. There might be now. Phew! Now, there's a few things I want to do before we sort of continue the main plot, and I think I've got that new key card, so I think we should have a nosy around on the first floor again in the tank hangar. So, let's get into a position that uh, doesn't get us caught immediately. I mean, I can just trank some people, of course. Sleepy, sleepy. Now, I don't know if I can hit him in the head from here. It's difficult to aim, as you can imagine. Yeah, got him. Okay, cool. And there's one more guard somewhere? Okay, well that's not ideal. Alright, so we've uh, we've angered the locals, but by tranking people. However, we have the cardboard box now, which is going to make, uh, you know, chilling out a little bit easier in some places. So we'll just wait until they uh, kick these guys awake, because they're sleeping on the job. If we hide in here, it won't really matter. I think there's one more door I want to search. Why are you labeled yourself? Because he's sleeping on the job. The guy is just... He's just He's just not getting paid well enough. He doesn't care about the job no more. You know, he's just not in. He's just not in it. He doesn't feel it. The backup unit is, in fact, over. Oh, hello. Dun, 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 dun. Now we can just chill out in the box. <laughs> the cover box is great. See you later, guys. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I love the box. It's amazing. Do they boot him awake? Was oh, he still sleeping over there? Oh no, he's awake now. Okay, I think I checked this door out before, didn't I? Check this out. Cardboard box is the best. Hi, I'm a box. Completely, completely innocent box. Don't even look at me. Don't look at me. I think we've already checked that room. It over there. So I think we're actually done now. Can we codec from the box? Let's have a look. We can code it from the box. Now, if I remember right, uh, it's, uh, hold on, I need to, nope, tune, there we go. Is it, I can, I can actually get the box out if necessary. Is it one for 180? A cardboard Shit, box, that's Miller. Just like Zanzibar land. Hey Miller. Saved my skin more than a few times in outer I'm gonna have to get the box out, aren't I? Getting the maximum Balls. use out of ordinary on-hand objects is the first principle of survival. It's especially important for covert operations. I haven't forgotten what you taught me. Twin snakes box. Because I I don't really fancy getting like about a million things back. It's fifteen. Damn it! I should have remembered. All right. Let's try that. Wait. It is 15, surely. I didn't just read that wrong. Maybe it was 14015. Aha! Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece, Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? Hmm. 
I'm the fool that your uncle sent to this hellhole. You came alone? Trying to be some kind of hero? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people called me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Uh, sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. They're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Snake didn't waste any That's time. What I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? I don't know. Maybe I'll ask him personally. But first, I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I just joined the training that same day. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapon disposal facility. Boy, oh boy. It's just like them. Nobody's told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear no. weapons. No! This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Metal Gear! Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. But they must have been test firing dummy warheads for a while. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. That's what I heard anyway. <sighs> Sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep them hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No. Not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Huh. Sounds like it. But I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So, they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we'd better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. How do we get to the nuclear warhead storage where the doctor's being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go to the- I'm going with you! No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green! Oh yes, you are. As green as my codex you green. Pause <laughs> for just one second in front of your enemy, and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. It was frightening to think that with a pull of a trigger, I could take someone's life. It's not like shooting targets in training. I always dreamed of being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action, and now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, 
You're not normal if you don't feel something the first time you kill. Killing without guilt produces more carnage. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits emerge. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Hang on to the key until then. Got ya. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Sweet! So, we know what we need to do. Uh, luckily we've just been chatting in our little cardboard box. We'll wait for this guy to get past. Nothing to see here, sir. woo -hoop. Freaking cardboard boxes are excellent. Now... Nothing to see here! Cardboard box! Nope. Cardboard box. Occasionally we get caught in cardboard boxes though. We'll just wait for this guy to go past. <laughs> now, we can get caught by the camera if we're moving, so let's not do something stupid. Uh-oh. We're in the way. That's bad. Hey! He didn't notice. Phew! The, gu the guards in this are kind of dumb. Which is just, well... Luckily, Meryl is going to open up the... Careful. Meryl's going to open up the way for us. Beep, 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 beep. So we want to go to the main doors. Now... I think we want Meryl to open this up for us. Aha! Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry. I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake. The cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Yes! Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait! You said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. Damn it, Meryl. Well, if she's gonna help us, hopefully she can help us. Love the dig about the way she walks. She does, she does have a very, um, hippie way of walking. So to speak. Right. In we go. Right. Uh, they're gonna tell us about the lasers. Should we, uh, should we see what they got to say? Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. What is it? You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them, and the door. I'm pretty sure we just discussed this, guys. With poison gas. No, no. I'm, I'm glad I. Somehow yeah. you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. Yep, figured. Luckily, there is a way of getting through. We have thermals! Uh, it can be a little bit tricky to see. That's the only downside. The depth perception on the thermal is not so good. So we'll wait for that to go up and down. That's why you want to really get the thermal goggles. So they're too useful not to have. Uh, that's that one. The next one's coming down now. This bit's fairly forgiving. I think a snake's nose would have been caught here, but it's all good. Next one. That one's going a little bit faster. And there we go. We got through. Unfortunately, I didn't turn the thermals off, so now you're going to have to watch the slow-mo in, you know, thermal vision. Ugh, gribbly. Ugh, enough of that. Let's cut the rations back on. 
Right, we're outside. Again. Ooh, we won that. Are you ready for more conversations? Oh yeah, whoops, my bad. Snake, be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Gross. Deep Throat? The informant from the Watergate scandal? Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? One of your fans. Why does everyone know more than me? Also, I blew up because I moved too far. No, oops. Now, we don't have a mine detector because I'm rubbish and I forgot to go get it. However, you can get claymores by doing this. Da -da 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 -da. Snake just grabs him out of the ground. Snake? Did I manage to actually miss all of them? Uh huh. Well, apparently I managed to miss them all. All that, it doesn't do that in this version. I forget. One of the two. Anyway, tank. We're about to meet another foxhound. I guess we're not worried about the claymores anymore. Hmm? Huh? You know, it's only a sodden tank. I mean, that's... that's bad. We don't want to be fighting a tank. We should probably talk to someone about this. Hey, you look like a person we should talk to. It's a bit cold. This is Raven's territory. Is it? Looks like tank territory to me. Snakes don't belong in Alaska. Neither do topless men in Alaska. Okay. Um, what happens if the bird craps on your shoulder? Do you do you go for a shower or snake? Please do something really dramatic and do a backflip over the tank show. Send him a message. Okay, boss. What do you want to say? Ooh. Ooh. I mean, snake's dead. <laughs> That's right. You belong on the ground. Rude. I also try not to have broken bones. But luckily I've got plot armor. Seriously, because that should have killed, killed you. You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. Hey boss, what do you want the message to say? Uh, oh. Let's fight. Let's fight indeed. So, tanks use electronics to see where you're going. Well, they also probably have a hole in the front, but let's not worry about that. So, what the first thing we're going to do is throw the chaff grenade. To get rid of the ability of the tank to do anything useful. Bonk! Friggin' mines! We want to get a little bit closer. See that fine fellow on top? Uh oh. I just got ran over! Man, what a jerk. Oop. Right, let's throw another chaff grenade, shall we? Uh, not sure what the tank's got to. Where are you, tank? When that blows up, we should not have a problem. There we go. Stop shooting me! You suck! Oh, come on, that was about as close as it gets. Can I just, sh can I actually use first person to shoot the friggin' gunner at this point? Does that work? Okay, he's probably not up there because uh, I need to, uh... We can also play C4, by the way, and blow the blow the tracks up, which I could have done too. Right, let's not get caught. This is not going how I planned. Normally I just throw grenades. This is uh, not going quite the way I wanted it to go, but hey. Also, gunner number one has friggin' tons of health. What the shit? Oh, I miss pressure sensitive buttons. Are you come to shit talk me? That's my job. Uh, no, no, you should come to laugh at me. That, that's okay. You're allowed to do that. I'm going to try the grenade thing again. I am super determined about getting this right. Let's stop bleeding. There we go.
Prime. Where are my friggin' grenades? There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Ah! Right, let's get another. Oops. Man, I'm getting real buddy, sir. There we go. Is there a ration up here? Uh, probably not. However, there's probably more chaff grenades. See how you like this? Wow, that's uh, that is Lloyd from Tales of Symphonia. What are you doing here, Lloyd? Right, I'm gonna heal up. We can get like at least some of that HP back by doing this. For another chap grenade. That was a good shot. Oh, come on, that was a perfect shot. Oh, I'm throwing magazines, that's why. I'm into throw grenades. Please stop running me over. Ah, the tracks have been damaged. Good, it's not going anywhere now. Uh, however, we're also getting a shot. So let's turn the. I'm really bad at this. I've always been terrible at this uh, particular boss, though, so don't be too surprised. Oops. Boom. Ah! I'm out of chaff grenades, which is not ideal. Please stop moving. So I lost track of that grenade. Could end in tears. Oh, I got it. Gunner number two. Gunner number two, are you okay? Not that I really give a shit, but more in case I want you to sort of pop up here and get grenaded. Oh, are those more chaff grenades? I think we need those. Hold on. It's safer down here. <laughs> I think I'm slowly bleeding to death. Let's just wait. That's a chaff grenade, perfect. Oh, sorry, trying to get some health back. Hey! It's gonna end in tears. It's gonna bomb me the second I get out of here. Shit! It wasn't my fault! Right, let's get some of this health back, and then we'll try and get the gun gunner number two. We've got three now, so we'll just... Oh, what the hell? There's no way you should be able to see me from here. Well, whatever. Okay, uh... There we go. Perfect. Flawless, some might say. This is what the game thinks we just did. Yeah, look how cool we are. Didn't get shot a single time. Yeah. Pretty sure that's really unlikely, but Snake is cool. What are the chances of that working? Roll! Drop and roll! Oh my god, he's, he's... Oh, there we go, he's fine. Do you have a keycard on you? Oh, sweet! He does have a keycard on him. That was handy. Also, idiot! Stop, drop, and roll. Like, seriously, children know this. Boss, is this alright? Just giving him the card like that. Giving him the card. We'll play with him a little longer. Hello, Snake! Be wise not to underestimate him. He's very good at missing grenades. He is just as you said. He lives and breathes combat just like you. But I would expect no less from your. You see, I told you so, but I will kill him. General Ivan, I hear that you lost your arm and ran away home. Watch your tongue, shaman. 
In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always. Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. No, it doesn't, for it is a tattoo, but, uh... Look, look, if you want to fight, just say you want to fight, dude. Don't make, don't make shit up. It's cool. Oh, boss! Boss, you just got beat real bad, Cole. It is as you said, boss. He is very good at missing grenades, among other things. Alright, well... Luckily, it gave us a free full heal, because the game's being ge <laughs> overly generous. And we got a rush back. That wasn't so bad. Oh, we're not allowed to use any guns, are we? Mm -hmm. This this is the uh, the nuke building. It's gonna. If you get into trouble in here, generally you have bad times. So we're gonna equip the box, but not use the box. Oh, all right. I can't turn the box on and off in this version because the. Hey, I'm pretty sure we have a. You're supposed to have a conversation in here. Mm. Anyway, let's sneak. Aha! Here we go. Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nano machine so that he won't be able to. Clean. That's stupid. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Can't you see them? Yeah. There's lots of boxes piled up in here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said. Totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Her frequency is 141.52. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. Well, not like I got a friggin' choice in the matter. Thanks, guys. Right, we're gonna have to be a little bit careful here because, again, if we get caught, we have a huge problem. Oh, great, we've been heard, so let's sneak up. Oh, fuck! What's that? Nothing. Just an empty cardboard box. This is bad, by the way, if we get seen here. Nah, no, I think we're okay. He's going back upstairs. Friggin' clacky floor is a bit of a problem. Uh, let's undo this and jump into the truck. Because then there might be some goodies in there. Whoop. Sock on bullets. Yeah, fine. Uh, can we go up here? Hmm? Shh. There no, there is no one here. The unfortunate thing about this is that the enemies can happily... Oops, let me just get the box out. The enemies can happily use their ammunition and bullets in here, but we can't, so that's really bad if we get caught. Cardboard box, cardboard box. The cardboard box is hilarious, and that's one of my favourite things about everything ever. Right, let's push the button. Cardboard box! This guy's really quick, so we have to just uh, wait for him to pass. <laughs> I love the box. Okay. Uh. Oh. I always forget what button it is. Let's go to basement one first, because I can't remember what floor we're supposed to be going to. Details, details. This is probably not the right one. No, this is definitely not the right one, I don't think. In fact, no one here. Oh no, there is someone here. There's loads of things we can pick up, though. That could be quite useful. Part the box! So we got some FAMAS bullets. Uh, these are all level 4 doors. We can easily knock this guy out. We need this. In fact, we did need to come up here first. In fact, I may... I may... Execute this guy with the... Damn it! Aha! Uh -huh. Oh! Mm -hmm. Did 
check the other side. Uh oh. No! We've been seen! No enemy sighted. Nothing! Nothing's going on. There's no response needed. Which is a cardboard box. <laughs> this has been this has been great. The backup unit, you don't need to do anything. You don't need to do anything, it's fine. Just imagining things. You are just imagining things. You didn't see a guy, you didn't get tranked. Alright. Just carry on with your business. This box is supposed to be here. You good? Uh oh. If he looks underneath my box, we have a problem. Don't breathe, Snake. You're just imagining things, it's just a regular box. Uh oh. Okay, we just have to pop out and beat him up. Oh god! This is going great, let's just leave. Oh! Oh, that's bad! Oh dear! Right, I need a plan. It's a genius plan, and it went swimmingly. Beep! Anyway, go what we came for. Everyone's asleep. <laughs> See? Perfect, solid snake, stealthing action, didn't get caught, no one saw anything, and we were like a fucking ghost. Neat. Oh no, this looks gassy. We don't have a gas mask, do we? Now, luckily, we picked up a weapon that will allow us to deal with this small problem. Snake eyeballs the uh, electric fence while standing in this gas. Hold your breath, Snake. Oh yes, I forget they tell us about this. Snake, watch out. That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. I can though. Use a remote controlled missile. I have those. Sweet. We have those. I don't know how long we can sit in the gas for, I can't remember. We You just have to go really fast if you stop. There we go. We're running out of air though. Ugh. Perfect. See? No more electrified floor. But we, d we can't breathe, so we need to go back into the other room. Uh, so let's get a chaff grenade up. Right. Carefully does it. Rations. Rations are good. Wait for it. Book. Gas mask. That's what we want. Now, it will save us for, uh, it won't, it won't, uh, completely 
erode the fact that we need, uh, you know, air, but it will certainly help. Now, we want to go check out this. However, as you can see, there's a shitload of things. I'm just going to chaff this really quickly. Ooh, this is going to be a bit dodgy. More chaff grenades and a ration. Was that? Oh. Well, actually, I might as well use my rations, because... Perfect. And we got some more chaffs, so let's quickly use one of those and run all the way back. Boop. No! No snake! No snake! Right. Oh, there's something in here! Oh, I can't get that. Okay, we'll come back for that. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Faster, 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 faster! Uh oh. It's fine. And we got one more chaff to use. Oh no, we are actually running super low on oxygen. Well, that's my last one. I could have probably made it past that one without any problems. You ready for spooky noises? I love spooky noises. It's one of my favourite things. How spooky, you say? Extremely. Huh? What was that noise? Caution, stand back. See, it's warning us on the door. Good gracious. I think that man's been stabbed. Snake's facial reactions there is actually really good. It's like, it's the face of a man just like, oh shit. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, that's bad. Oh, oh he dead. It's like you guys have never seen stealth camouflage before. Oh, that was that was horrendously unnecessary. I mean, you could have just knocked him out. Uh, you got a bit red on you there, dude. You wanna you want a tissue for that? I mean, that is that's actually really cool. No, Lloyd from Tell Symphonia. No! Oh, Lloyd! Dwarven Vow number seven. Never attack ninjas with swords with a knife. Bummer. I'm no doctor, but I think they're dead. I can tell because I've seen a few dead people in my time. Come on, Snake, give him a kick, just to make sure. Oh dear! Oh, got him right through the, uh, got him right through the soft bits there. That's not ideal. You should not do that. It's a ghost. It's not a ghost, dude. Ghost can't stab you, sir. Oh! Oh, that's bad! It's like he's some kind of cyborg ninja or something! Well, that's bad. Ooh, for mask bullets. All right, gas mask. That's bad. Oh, it's, oh, I thought his armor come off then. That'd have been awkward. What happened to Cutting Two Guy? Where are you, Cutting Two Guy? He's disappeared. Cutting Two Guy was just too graphic. Now, ordinarily, I would not follow a cyborg ninja who's just cut up a load of dudes into another room, but we're Solid Snake. We're, we're a hero. We're fine. My god, it's just like one of them Japanese animes. Stealth camouflage? Who are you? Wow, ninja's got a really nice bum. Look at that bum. It's really fun. You got a nice ass, dude. Where is my friend? Right here, dude. What? What are you talking about? Oh yeah, time for slow mo coolness. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He cut the bullet in half. Oh, awkward. Oh, what next? Please stop weighing yourself. Snake. Hey, you 
you're that ninja. You're that ninja, right? I've been waiting for you, Snake. That's really good, because I Who are you? haven't been waiting for you. Neither enemy nor friend. He says he's a ninja. I can I read. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. Alright. What do you want? Oh, I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy this moment. <laughs> What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animals. He said the line. I've come from another world to battle with you. What is it? Revenge. Snake's revenge. It is nothing so trivial as revenge. It is in fact a plot. To death with you. Only in that can my soul find respite. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. <laughs> yeah, go hide. Uh, Alright then. Watch from your box seat. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Piss or no piss, I need that dude. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. I completely forgot how to fight this guy. This should be interesting. I think we gotta dap him out. I mean, obviously. I think shooting him is a big no-no because he's got a big sort of don't shoot me. So, I think... Nice. That's good I think we can actually... I think we can actually upset his um, electronics. Good. Now we can fight his oh, that's it. If you try and shoot him, he's like, nah, dude, don't do that. Uh, excuse me, sir, you have a case of the blurs? That doesn't look very healthy. Alright, I think if we do chaffs, I think it's... I think it wrecks with his, um... Stealth, camouflage, and electronics. But I'm not 100% convinced. Can you get up, please? I need to... Oh, can I... Can I trank him? Or does he not appreciate that? I don't think he appreciates that. Come back! Why are you flipping over things? Oh! Outrageous. Snake, you first need to learn the basics of CQC. I think it's running around with the D-pad and pushing my B button, but I'm not 100%. Except this guy's flipping. I'm gonna- You wanna flip? You wanna flip? I'm gonna fucking roll you, dude! Yeah, now what? Woohoo! Oh, he's, he's better at doing that than I am. From ass bullet. I'm not gonna shoot him. Where's the fun in that? Yeah, see? Nice. This is actually a really fun thing. I mean, it's very silly. Because, you know, the ninja, ninja is very flippy compared to me. But it is fun we get to dap him out a little bit. Well, I, I can completely stun him with the traffic grenade. But I've also ran out. That man has a game cube. At least for mass bullets I don't need. Oh, man, my arms are... My legs are way too short compared to my arms. This is outrageous. There we go. Hold on, hold on, dude. Oh, he broke the TV playing the game cube. He broke the TV playing the game cube. All is lost. Oh, look at the, look at my punching skills. Ah! Please don't kick me. I'm actually doing okay. Well, except you know, he's got the flippy powers, Ugh, and he's got the iframes. He's got the iframes. The iframes are pretty hardcore. Oh no, he's doing things. Yeah, I thought so. Oh hey Yoshi, hey Mario. No, he's invisible! What a jerk! If only there was some way we could stop that, which we can, with the chaff grenade, which I don't have. Do I have? Do I have one more chaff grenade? I do! Oh, there you are. I can see you anyway, by the way. Uh, I've lost me one ninja. There he is. Hold on, you do that. I'm getting my health back. 
Where are you? I was bleeding, sorry. You in the corner? Ow! I don't know what you're talking about. Is that, is that the pain? Are you going to shoot bees at me? Is that, is that what we're talking about? I think that was a different person though. He had an eye patch. I don't have an eye patch. I'm also bleeding. Hey. Ooh, wow, this is getting into kinky territory. I'm not here to kink shame you, but I don't think you should be, you know, asking a stranger for, you know, getting punched for, you know, pleasure. I mean, whatever works. I'm gonna keep punching you. You remember this punch? Alright, well, have some- oh, duh. Have some more punches. It's better than- Uh, wait, I mean, it probably hurts more for Snake, because you're wearing an exosuit. Yeah? You I'm gonna hurt you more, dude. I'm gonna hurt you. Ooh! Uh. I'm going to, but I'm bleeding. Hold on. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Okay, we're good. I mean, clearly the ninja could win this fight pretty easily. He just wants us to dap him out. I will, but you've got to—you've got to give me this. You got to give me this moment. There we go. That's good, Snake. You only got a little bit of health left. Let me just. Oh no! Oh no! My spleen. Yeah, we hurt you. You good now? You happy? Didn't even use a single ration. Well, well, that's a very thing to be proud of, I don't think. Oh, look, the TV's fixed again. That was handy. Oh, look how cool this is. This is not what happened. He sounds like a... That's the same sound effect from Metal Gear Solid 2. <gasps> that's the thing that Solid does start. Oh! See, I recognize things now. Ooh, Ooh that looked painful. All oh, right, in the soft bit. I hope that we didn't need those uh, servers there. I mean, they don't take kindly to having ninjas thrown at them. Also, ninjas! I, felt that snake. I bet you did. I threw you through glass, dude. Do you remember me now? No, you mad bastard, I don't. It can't be. Oh, we, we do? You were killed in Zanzibar. Again. Oh, nice. Oh, don't do that. Oh, definitely don't do that. That's the good way of giving yourself a concussion. What's happening? I think he's, uh, Oh, we switched him off. Maybe not. Uh, is it over? Uh, maybe. No, he's still moving. Oh, don't do that. I, I might need some of these PCs. Oh, oh, dear. It's super handy that he didn't do that during the fight, though, so I think we would have lost. Gray Fox. Colonel, that ninja is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You yourself in Zanzibar land. Yes. He should have been killed. But he's still alive. 
What? What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar land. And that was Gray Fox? But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype. Whoa, exoskeleton whoa, whoa. They revived him how? Drugged for four years while they experimented. They Lazarus him. That's more important. How did Today's they kill death? Genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I've ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Gray Fox after that? The records said he died in an accident. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. You're saying he's just living off his will to fight? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Mm -hmm. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. Right, let's go see Piss Pants then. Hey, TV's still fine. That's good. Wave Bird with the game controller there. Nice. How long are you going to stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? What is this? Are Repeat what I say? Too? What? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Howdy. Your uniform's different from theirs. You're the Metal Gear Rex chief engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh. So you're here to rescue me? Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh. Well, at least you're not one of them. Hmm. Are you hurt? Ah, uh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Liar! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't uh, know? Aren't they just trying to use the TMD missile module to launch a disabled nuclear warhead? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. Uh, no, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know. By the way, Snake is really strong. Damn, look how high no. he lifted them. All the armament was built by a separate department. And the president personally supervised the final assembly with the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. 
Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all, I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So, this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... No. Damn! Damn! I'm such a fool! It's all my fault. The truth is... My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father? He was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. Also, your father was a douche. I used to think yeah. that I could use science to help mankind. But in the end, I was the one being used. Using science for peace? That's only an anime. <laughs> Hal's actually a pretty good guy. That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. But seriously, yeah, pull yourself together. It's ridiculous. Come on. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? You know, the important details. Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower. But it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the base's control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours? You'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right. My duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by Kodak. How am I supposed to escape from an island? <sighs> okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good, but I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is. Over there. Oh no, damn, they spotted God me. God damn it, Lloyd. <laughs> Meryl, what happened? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like?
she... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. And she wiggles her butt when she runs. It's very important. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. Yay! We can now open up all the other things. Although I've run out of chaff grenades. That's could be a problem. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you. You're not having a heart What's attack? Wrong? You get all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I uh just glad you're okay. You're strange. Rich coming from you, P boy. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, Doctor. Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. I don't care what it stands for. An otaku is a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Don't care. Not relevant. This is from. Oh god! Oh god, it's a ghost howl! The first country to successfully make Jesus. bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. Yeah, that's what all scientists say. Here, look at Mario and Yoshi. They know what they're talking about. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Sounds like an excuse to me. Snake's having none of it. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Yes. Science has progressed because there is war. And because of scientists' greed, weapons of mass destruction were born. But that's all over. I won't take part in murder anymore. Good for you, daughter. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. I mean, you can still pretty much see that, but whatevs. Man, Snake was having none of that. He's just not interested. Wait, do you have two level 4 cards? Hmm. Well, whatever. Something important to do first. Check this out. Yeah. Oops. Very important. Anyway, I'm going to stop the set here. I think we've made some good progress. That's a map. Ooh. Going to save it. Uh, let's see. No one wants to talk to Natasha. Uh, mailing. That's not the right button. Mailing. That's the correct button. Snake, there's an old Chinese saying. A scholar who cherishes the love of comfort is not fit to be deemed a scholar. Einstein said it another way. He said that only a life lived for others is worth living. That's why I entered MIT instead of CMU or Princeton like my friends. I wanted to do applied physics, not just theoretical stuff. I wanted to make things for people. The Soliton radar system, or the codec system. I just wanted to make something that would be useful for people. I think that it was the same for Dr. Emmerich, too. But he was used like a tool. Used to make a horrible killing machine. Maybe... It would be better if engineers like us just stop making things. I don't know. No, you're wrong. There's at least one person whose life has gotten better as a result of your inventions. Me. Huh? Without the Kodak, I wouldn't be able to talk to you like this. Thanks, Snake. Oh, isn't that nice? Right, let's save the game. Uh, oh, I always forget which way on this is. Save. Yes, there we go. Memory card. Save over the thing. Overwrite, yes.
jolly good. Right. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes Part 2. It's been a blast so far. Next time, we better go find Meryl. You know, by looking at people's asses until we get the right soldier. I'm not kidding, by the way. That's how we're going to find her. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Catch you all next time. Bye-bye for now.